Alrighty guys, so first step today with your paper, you're gonna grab your paper, you wanna make sure it's going vertical up and down, and we are going to fold our paper. We need it to go right in half long ways, or hot dog style, so we're gonna take it this way. I'm gonna fold over, hold my line if you need a friend to help you hold that paper still so it lines up nice and straight, do that. Gonna crease and fold it long ways. Once I have it folded like this, so if I open it up, it's like a book this way. This part's really important. You want to take it where the folded side is. You're going to use that as the bottom. So I'm going to turn it this way. So the top is open like a taco. The bottom is where the fold is. And you're going to write your name with the bottom where that fold is across your paper here. So you want your name to be right on here like this is a line you're writing your name on. So you are going to write your name on here if you have a really long name you want to be careful not to make it take up too much space or run out of space so you're going to write your name Whew. almost ran out of space there so your name's on there. Remember, your name has to be on the bottom, so the bottom of your name should line up where the paper is folded. Once you have your name on there, you're going to carefully use your scissors. We're going to come here, and I'm going to cut out around my name. Now, I don't want to cut across the bottom of my name. That stays where it is. But I'm going to go through, and I'm going to cut around each letter. I don't want to cut out the letter, but I want to cut around where my letters are. Try not to cut off any parts of your name. Going up and down around all your different letters. And then once we get towards the end, I'm going to cut around my last M here. And I get to the end and cut that off. When you're done with this right here, if I have my name like this, what should happen is when I turn to side, if I open that paper back up, you should be able to open it up and you kind of end up with this really crazy shape. This shape is gonna become your alien or your creature that you're making. And you can decide, do you want it to go this way? Or are you gonna flip it upside down this way? Whichever way you think will be best for it. And then once you've done that, you're gonna go in with your pencil and you're gonna start drawing your details onto your alien using this crazy shape that your name created. So you might go through, add that in. I'm kind of drawing a hat and a very strangely shaped head for my monster monster is gonna have a whole bunch of different eyes. Then I'm going to go through and make them all different sizes. So he's got his two main eyes. And then we're going to have these two eyes that kind of come on the top right up here so people can't sneak up. <clears throat> going through, you can add any other designs and details that you want to your monster. I'm going to make mine a little silly out there and continue going around with that. You want to fill up the whole monster all the way through on your paper. Filling this all up, all kinds of different crazy details, designs. And then once you've finished filling up yours, you'll be able to color in your creature. So have a lot of fun, get really creative. Think of some weird things or some funny shapes as to why your creature is such an odd shape. Think of cool ways that you can fill in all the different parts of what's going on on your paper. You guys have a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what you do.